My name is Tanya Holland, and uh, I've been cooking since I was little. I started with my grandmothers hanging out by their side. We've got all of our ingredients right across the I bring kind of a unique mix of homestyle cooking, and then my formal training studying in France. Uh, I've been driving for hours now. I'm getting hungry. Todd Neese, uh, originally from uh, Wallingford, Connecticut. I've been in the business for about 20 years now. Well, I really enjoy French cuisine, and not fussy French cuisine, but really what I call French uh, food for the soul or French soul food. Boy in a boatload of hot water. Hi, I'm Stephen Gibbs, and uh, for me, it's about what's fresh, what's exciting, what um, what I haven't learned yet. So what I get really excited about is going into places and learning from other people about what they're making. Food is a bridge. Everybody loves to eat, so it's a bridge between cultures. Today we're in downtown Oakland, Oakland, California. There's people from so many different cultures here. The thing that really draws people to Oakland is knowing that they're probably going to find some soul food. All right, we've made it. Look here. All right, let's just let's get set up here first. All right, here we go. Now yeah, let's head over to Housewives Market, right across the street here. Time for shopping. Steve, did you bring the money? Because I don't have it. Today we're going to shop at Housewives Market. This was found in 1908. There's a lot of specialty items inside. What I really like about the Housewives Market is it's still like, like being in a you know almost a European market. They have some beautiful dry cured sausages here. I see some andouille. I see some smoked and hot links. Some sausage loaves. Love dried saucisson. It's great with uh, appetizers, little olive, little cornichon. I've got Steve here. Here, put her up. Give us a hand. Hey, how Steve, are you doing? good, nice good. You. Nice to meet you. Good, good. Okay. Steve's the owner of uh, Jack's Meat here. Two kinds of chicken. Yeah. One is the kind of really tough. Mm -hmm. Hot chicken, not a fried chicken. Tough chicken, mean chicken. Yeah, mean chicken. Right. Oh, peanuts. I, I got to take these. The crunch of the peanuts will be a nice contrast to my sweet potato dish as soon as I find those because I always put sweet potatoes on a southern menu. That makes seven, eight, nine, ten, and ten is twenty, sir. Great. Thank, Thank you, you so much, Harold. What a great bargain for some artisan sausages. Let's go. Hey, what a great What's market, up? huh? Yeah, it's fun nice. here. Yeah, I love it. I'm going to do the sweet potatoes. That's kind okay. of my thing. You know, nice. I'm all about the sweet potatoes. And all I'll about peanuts. The I'm going to take your... You're going to do the greens. <laughs> all right, I'll do the greens. And you're going to do the pork. And the, the pork. The pork, and yeah. The apples and, we'll, you know, we'll work Boudin together. Blanc. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. All right, man. well, let's yeah. do it. Contact cooking. Nobody gets out without a bruise today. You guys ready? That's what I like to see. Mirepoix, mirepoix, roux, roux, roux. Cut it up, chop it up, throw it in your stew. All right, let's roll. Yeah. roll. Drag it all right. Here we go. So I'm going to let this cook down for about 30 minutes, and it's going to get really nice and rich and flavorful. And I'm going to have it with uh, your your your. Uh, Meat platter. Oh right? yeah, it's going to be a great side dish to that. <laughs> so these have been in here for about 10 or 15 minutes. As you can see, they're starting to get some nice color to them. What we're going to do now is we're going to pull them out of here and we're going to put them right on our searing mechanism here. I'm going to make the ginger beer. I'm going to start by putting in, like Todd said, we're not really measuring here. Little room temperature water. Then nope. I'm going to add I'm just a little bit of sugar, even though there's sugar in the simple syrup, but you know the yeast so feeds on the sugar. Sweet it up, yeah. right? Oh yeah. They've got a really nice uh, smoked turkey leg here. So uh, what this is doing, this is going to add some richness and body to the dish. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to pick this meat. Um, this has been sitting here poaching for about an hour. So the stock is really rich and flavorful and delicious. Take a bite, really good. Mm, yeah. All right. We're going to take a little bit of maple syrup. And do me a favor, Tanya. Sure. Can you, can you, uh, can I borrow your pinky finger? I just want to sweeten that up a little bit more. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Okay. Well, there's our sweetness. So, I'm going to come over here with my plate. I'm going to pull out some apples. I have my boudin blanc and my pork tenderloin here. We'll give everybody a little nice all up the sweet potato salad. Are those sexy or what? Huh? These are wonderful, man. Let's go get our uh, Yeah, let's get our, our guests. Diners. I'll hold down the fort. <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing, sir? 
work over here. Gonna, would you, you like to have some food with us? Two minutes. <laughs> oh, Harold, would you honor your presence uh, for our, our table? That would be really wonderful if you can come over. You can't pass that up. Ready for lunch? Knock, knock. Okay. Can you lock the door for a second? We, we really need you to come over and try something. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, uh, we're just having a little food. Oh, that looks so good. Okay, why don't you go out first? Here we go. Coming up. So I got these great plates of food. Oh, yeah. Let me tell you what you have here. This is a smoked pork tenderloin with an apple compote. Mm -hmm. You've got some sausage from our wonderful sausage maker over there. Uh -huh. Sweet potato salad and greens with smoked turkey breasts. That's, That's spicy. Really, really tasty. Oh, the greens are great. Excellent. It was not too heavy. Everything was very good. It blended well all together. Harold, thanks for your help, man. Delicious. You got soul, man. Ah! Thanks, all right. soul, man. Thanks. This is very good. It's not a, it doesn't have, it's a little light on the carbonation and it goes down really good. Them greens? Can I get your recipe? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Can I get your recipe on the greens? On. He said he likes my greens. I've had greens and that's the best since I had from my mama. Oh, no, no, hold on. <laughs> it, was, uh, it was a lot of fun and it was uh, nice to get the reaction of the people that we got it from. Nothing says love and like pork in the oven. He <laughs> said We cooked with a lot of love, a lot of passion, and I think the people really appreciate that and tasted it too. Thank you. Let me tell you, they seemed to love it. They didn't even know they were going to get a free lunch today, so it was really fun for us. It's fun to be involved with that, and uh, I think we, we did some great dishes today. Boy in a boatload of hot water.